Tragedy in North Hills. A 29-year-old man shot to death. Prosecutors say his father pulled the trigger because his son was gay. The suspect's wife also found dead inside the home. Eyewitness News reporter Melissa McBride is live in North Hills tonight. A neighborhood still rocked by this double murder. Melissa. Jory, 69-year-old Shahada Isa is being held without bail. Prosecutors say he used a shotgun to kill his son. Officers were called to this home on Tuesday after shots were fired. They found 29-year-old Amir Isa's body outside. His mother's body was inside. Police arrested Amir's father, Shahada Isa, for murder and committing a hate crime. Prosecutors say he killed his son because Amir was gay. I cannot imagine uh, what goes through the mind of someone that would take their own child's life. Dave Garcia is the policy director for LA's LGBT Center. He says young people who are shunned by their families can get help at the center with housing and counseling. He says recent anti-gay legislation in other states only makes matters worse for the entire LGBT community. It makes LGBT folks uh, a lesser than, a second class citizen. And when you can look at somebody and think of them as less human than you, then it is easier to commit atrocities toward those people. Prosecutors allege Amir's father had threatened to kill him before because he did not accept his son's sexual orientation. Ronnie Valise from the group Somos Familia Valle is organizing a rally on Monday in light of the tragedy. We want peace, we want family acceptance, and we are going to demand justice for all queer lives. Amir's story resonates with many young people who have been rejected by their families. Valise hopes those parents can find acceptance in their hearts, not hatred. Your kids are your kids. They are the most beautiful creation you have. There are going to be things that we're not going to agree on, but family saves lives. Family doesn't end lives. The rally on Monday night will begin at 6 o'clock on the corner of Sepulveda and Nordoff. Reporting live in North Hills, I'm Melissa McBride.